Hey guys! In today's video, I'm going to test out five different watercolor sets that I could find under $5. So the price might be different depending on the country you're from. I just wanted to see if you actually just get what you have paid for or if you can actually have fun with them. Also, don't forget to make sure that your notifications are turned on by clicking on the bell and by adjusting the settings because YouTube likes to change stuff and make it more difficult to stay up to date. And for a chance to get a shout out and to win arts and craft supplies in my ongoing giveaway, comment down below hashtag my qualification squad in the first 24 hours. Alright, so in these tests, I'm going to test out the watercolor sets in the category vibrancy, transparency, blooming, blending, glazing, and how they react to sunlight by putting them under direct light to see if it affects the colors after some time. So let's test out the different watercolor sets and see how vibrant and transparent they are. The first in the test is the watercolor set by Royal Lang Nickel. I got it from Amazon for about two pounds and it comes with 12 different colors. The first thing I noticed immediately is the fact that it was super difficult to load up the wet brush with pigments. I had to constantly rub it all over the watercolor cakes to absorb as much pigment as possible. Even though I gave my best to load up as much paint as possible, the colors looked really pale and I felt like if I would try to add more and more pigments on top, the end result would be so chalky that parts of the paint would just break off. I had a hard time blending out the colors because they felt so dry, even though I could use enough water and usually it helps, but the fillers were just too much. The pigments would just sit there and dry out. As you can also see, the black line that I created to check the transparency of the colors is completely covered in pigments. It's not a good sign because it means the paint is filled with ton of fillers and you want your watercolors to be transparent because watercolors is all about layering the paint. And with this watercolor set, it seems like it would be impossible. The next set is by the brand called Prang. I got the set from Amazon as well and it was $2.70 and it comes with 8 different colors. At the first glance, you can clearly see that these colors are so much more vibrant and saturated. It was also a lot easier to get the pigments onto the brush and to distribute the paint. The black line stayed fairly free of any pigments, but there was still a thin layer on top if you look more closely. But it's definitely a huge improvement. The next set is by the brand called Barocco. I got this watercolor set from AliExpress for $3.72 and it comes with 12 different colors in small tubes. Regarding the transparency, this set performs pretty similar to Prang. And personally, these colors kind of remind me of candy. They look so bright and vibrant and kind of delicious. Is it just me or do you sometimes find colors delicious looking as well? Comment down below! Here I mixed additional colors with the primary colors and did the same with the previous set to see how they perform. I like the fact that this set comes in tubes so you could decide how many pigments you want to adjust the intensity. The downside here is that even though the tubes look so full of paint, almost everything is actually just air. And I think that's a total disaster. I mean, even though you pay pretty little for a watercolor set, you shouldn't be light about the amount of paint that is inside. Another downside is also that the paint has lots of fillers and not really transparent if you look at the dark line once the paint is dry. The next set in the test is by the brand Major Brushes. I got this set from Amazon for almost 5 pounds and they come in 12 different colors. The Amazon ratings make it look like they are great. It even has a logo of Amazon's choice but I was pretty shocked. Compared to the first watercolor set, the colors are even more pale and look really dull. They not only felt really chalky, but I also had a hard time distributing the paint evenly similar to the first set. Here I got the feeling that layering the colors would be a disaster because they also felt really chalky and dry. And as you can see, the paint will just sit there and dry out. The last set in the test is the washable watercolor set by Crayola. You can get a smaller set just for one or two dollars, but since I could only get a bigger set, it was five dollars and twenty cents. I was really surprised with the vibrancy of the colors, they were super saturated and the black line pretty much stayed clear of any pigments, even though there is a tiny amount on top if you look closely. The paint was also easy to distribute and so far I was quite happy with the set. 
but there are a ton of other watercolor techniques that depend on the quality of the paint. For example, the wet and white technique to create beautiful blooming effects between the water and the paint or between two different colors. To test out if it works with these watercolor sets, I applied a thin layer of water and then added a little bit of white paint on top to see if the paint starts to dissolve and melt into the water. The first set by Royal Lang Nickel completely failed the test because, as you can see, the dots of paint just sit there and do nothing really while creating this weird outline further away. The next three sets by Prang Barocco and Major Brushes pretty much behave the same. Even though the prank set performed a little bit better, here the paint really melted into the water and became one with it. The major brushes set, on the other hand, was not completely able to melt into the water. Lastly, we have the Crayola set and here I was a little bit disappointed because even though the colors were so vibrant, the pigments unfortunately didn't want to mix with the wet surface that much. But if you compare it to the first set, it did a lot better, that's for sure. Now the last painting test is blending, because sometimes you guys tell me that you have difficulties blending two different colors together, so let's see how these watercolor sets perform. Here again I applied a thin layer of water to the paper first and applied two different colors, yellow and red, to see if they will blend. As we already discovered, the first set doesn't like moving around at all, so here the best I could get from these two colors is orange with a harsh transition between all three colors and that's not necessarily what you want when it comes to creating a smooth transition between certain colors. The second set performed much better, here you can clearly see how the red is running into the yellow paint. The only problem here is that I used way too much water but that's okay. The set by Barocco and Major Brushes performed even better. Here the two colors blended nicely into each other and created a smooth transition by creating an orange color. I personally prefer the result of the Barocco set because the pigments look a lot smoother compared to the major brushes texture. Here the texture looks a little bit more uneven. Lastly we have the Crayola set and here the two colors kind of blended into each other but not as smoothly as with the two previous sets. The next test is glazing and layering because this is one of the important things when you want to take your painting to the next level. Sadly, all five sets performed rather poorly. By applying another layer of paint, the wet brush reactivated the pigments below and made the paper slightly white again. And that's not what you want to happen. With layering and glazing, you want to create more depth and add a different tone to the painting. By applying more paint using these sets, you rather ruin your progress. What's funny is that the opposite happens to the Crayola set. Here the paint doesn't even want to stay on top of each other. I guess the waxy surface of the Crayola made it kind of resistant to a second layer of paint, making it impossible for the paint to stick on top smoothly. Okay, so the last test is the sun. Let's say you create a beautiful watercolor artwork and you want to showcase that on the wall in a very bright room. Will the colors stay the same? To find it out, I covered all the swatches of paint with thick paper while creating a thin slit on top of each set. And then I placed it directly under the sun for a few hours. And this is the result of a few hours in the sun. Pretty much every color stayed the same except of the bluish and black paints by Crayola. They turned slightly yellow or in the case of the black paint, slightly red, which means your painting might fade over time if it is exposed to lots of sun throughout the day. But other than that, everything stayed the same. Now, we tested these watercolor sets in 5 different categories and based on the performance in each category, this is the rating I would give them. The average amount of stars is 1.8 out of 5 for Royal Langnickel, 3.4 out of 5 for Prang, 2.8 out of 5 for Barocco, 2.2 out of 5 for Major Brushes and 2.4 out of 5 for Crayola. And the winner of the 5 under 5 test is Prang. Would I recommend any of these sets to anyone that I like and that I want him or her to have fun creating art with watercolors? Probably not. But if you just want to play around and test out a new medium, I would say why not give Prang a go because it's not that bad. Now comment down below and let me know what other watercolor sets or other art supplies you would like me to test out so I can help you make a decision to buy it or rather save the money. A huge shout out to Raul Nasir, thank you so much for watching my videos. And also the winners of the last month's giveaway are Antonella, 
Angelina and Mo. Congratulations! Make sure to check out your messages for more information. And for more watercolor tips and tricks, check out these videos right here. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up to support this channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and to click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video every week. Thank you so much for watching guys. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.